Hello, and welcome back for episode 21 of Let's Play FTB Interactions with Kenshin. So today we are going to kind of continue working through some of these magic mods. So I think we're pretty okay in the Steam category. We're basically ready to move on to LB, but before I do that, I want to try to advance some of my magic. So I know that there's a lot of astral sorcery we can do, particularly with the light well. I think making one of these and then some of these other pieces here, especially this tree stone beacon, are going to be our priorities. So let's go see what astral stuff I already have. I do have some runed marble pre made. I have some marble pillar, it's convenient. Chiseled marble. Does it matter what kind of marble? It has to be chiseled marble. I have any of that pre-made. I do, okay. Well, let's take it all. Looks like I have enough to make two. And I, I can make these by just uh oh no, I have to make these in the workbench. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, yeah, we're just gonna seal all that that we find in the overworld. But this one. That one you just craft. That one I assume you chisel. Yeah. Can you chisel this one too? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but whatever. So we have those. We can get iron plates. We have a crystal. And it looks like that's just any glass panes in a, that pattern. We have glass panes over here. And again, we're going to make two of these, so we'll grab two sets. I don't know why I have a carpet on me. So we'll make that. Bada boom. Boom boom. Grab four iron plates. I hope I have some remade up here. Yep, there they are. I think I have a bunch of those somewhere else. I should probably just turn off all of the <laughs> waypoints that are cluttering my screen. Wow. Wow, uh, let's go to the full waypoint menu. Options. Is there like a turn them all off? Turn a button? No. Oh god. Seriously? That's annoying. Uh, click on all of these. All right, we'll be right back. All right, there we go. Much more reasonable numbers of waypoints. So we have our little astral bench over here. In hindsight, I don't know if I can make this without starlight, but we'll find out. So I do have two rock crystals. I don't think I guess I have three. I don't think any of these are really worth like writing home about. I don't know what size goes up to. Don't really. I don't remember what the stats are good for. All right, so put that there, and hopefully this is enough. Sounds like it's working. And then, what else do we want? Do we want the sextant. That's all. Make another one of these. Use up the starlight. So, how do we get glass lenses? And mix them with aquamarine. I don't have a ton of aquamarine. Oh man. Okay, that should be enough. So I can use two of my marines to make those and one to make my tree beacon. But they all need three of these. What else do we need? need Twelve stuff. Another thing I should do is, like, I waste a ton of steam. And I should hook up a tinker tank to this to suck up the steam and pipe it back in. 
I'm just going to ignore that for now. Yeah, the ball was right. All right. Ooh, jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. We moved the mob farm up there from over there. Uh, I think I need to make this part longer because I think when I'm up there, I'm too close for monsters to spawn. But I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, so let's hope we don't need a ton of starlight to make this thing. I wonder if we can make them all at once. Like, will it make three now, or will it... Yep, it did. Okay, cool. All right. Uh... Okay, it made two. Maybe it uses starlight and ran out. People need three sticks, two gold. And then to make this mineral leaves, liquid starlight. Why don't I put down the light wells? So right now I can make liquid starlight um, using nitor as a catalyst. And I do have some nitor from quest rewards. I can make more too. Um, it's just glowstone and some aspects in Tomcraft. Tomcraft is probably over here, right? Yep. Take that. Go back home. We'll grab the gold. Fixed. Needed great wood. So some saplings. We can do that outside. I'm assuming I can't make a great wood, right? Yeah. Now we'll just get some. Oh, why not? We pray those do not grow into trees before we're ready. The nitor in these. You can automate these if you put like a uh, something on that. Wow, I'm gonna make it fast. Um, but you can put something that puts the item in there to melt into starlight. Wonder if it tells me what can get mar melted. Ooh, you can turn netherrack into lava. That's interesting. Turn rock crystals into starlight. That's good to know. I learned that the scanner can detect starlight underground, so... Really not a whole lot of need to, like, search the surface. Oh, okay, we can get chickens that do stuff. Liquid Nightmares. Why would I want... I can make Liquid Nightmare with that, too. Oh, we can get a drop of evil. Pretty cool. I wonder how we can get this. Starlight Crafting Altar. That's really not that far away. I don't know what we need to make this, but Talmium, Rock Crystal... Yeah, we're close. We can definitely make Talmium plates. Talmium's made from Talmium here. We can steal. Yeah, oh, we can do that. We have that power. Whoa, how many does this make? Uh, right, we do want to... I don't want to waste them. So let's see... If this can pick it up. Oh, can? Oh, thank goodness. Can it only pick up one bucket at a time? That's fine. All right. So while that's happening, we will make our sextant. Got a lot of starlight here. Maybe it's just... I don't know if that starlight meter is how much the table can hold. Like, is this full amount of the table, or is that like a maximum amount of starlight? Let me go that. That's easy enough. Why do I have more pillars? I 
And this requires mineral and a bucket of starlight. Pick that up. Pick that up. I'll go get the sticks and the other stuff. I cannot have you grow into something. Why did I... For some reason I can't run right now. I'm hitting my run key, but it's not going. Alright, so I need two of this. Refill my crafting cabinet. Get rid of light bulb from that. Uh, get rid of sextant. Grindstone. I need mineral leaves, I guess. Why can't I run? I'll just use my swords. Alright. Grindstone that. And then I think I have a mineral seed over here, a mineral sapling. Okay, you can see the... Uh, the words are underground with this. Um, but you can also detect them with the scanner underground, so I just run around at bedrock with the scanner and look for it. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's plant one of these. One of these will go up these so they don't get full. A little hope I can torque that, yes. And then I should have my shears with me, right? Hama, sponge comma, that should work, right? Yeah. And we still don't know whether or not the comma works because it's a comma or <laughs> if it works because it's made of sponge. It definitely does what it does because it's made of sponge, but... Alright, and then the tree beacon. So these are supposed to be super cool in that they're like automatic tree farms. All right, let's see what we get. The grindstone is used to sharpen actual tools and crystals at the cost of size, which can be increased by, uh, go back to here, lucky stars. Can be increased by soaking the item in liquid starlight. Okay, so you can increase size by soaking it and sharpen, I don't know what sharpening does. Additionally, you can sharpen most weapons, adding addition damage to them permanently. I wonder if I could sharpen my, like, uh, tools that I have. Well, let's just put it down. Why not? I don't know. You think that's doing anything? Not, not sold. All right. Uh, so we'll claim that reward. I don't know what knowledge does. I bet it's chanting, enchanting related. Two sex, the sextant will also show you an in-world preview of how to build AS structures by shift right clicking. Oh, does this give us starlight? It does. On the structure block. All right, that's pretty cool. I wonder, let's, uh, let's see. Why do you think it? What do you think this thing on the side is? Like, like over here on my screen, there's something. I wonder if this is how I like look for constellations. All right, coolios, coolios. What did that give us? An aquamarine and a starlight. Using a tree beacon to gather wood and saplings more easily. Barrel upgrade. Oh, the void upgrade. Tom craft. Okay, I think they're giving me a hint here that I should get the Tom craft golems because these are related to the golems. I've never used the tree beacon before, so I don't really know how to use it. Light well to create a bucket of liquids. Yeah, we did that. The fluid conduit. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. You can suck it out with the conduit. The straw. The straw is something weird. Like I know that you can use it to do stuff, but. Alright, I need to get rid of all this water somehow.
I think the easiest way will be to put it all in the ground. And then we can put the starlight we got into that. And now we can pick up this bad boy. What I can do is I can just put the tank down here for now. I can. Okay, cool. I don't like that I can't fill these things easily. Like, you need a machine to put them inside stuff. All right, and we got fluid conduit from that, right? So, yeah, we'll just take that. Uh, no. Uh, you have to go through the bottom, don't you? All right, that's fine. Let's see. That worked. Yeah, okay, it did connect there. And then we just got to go down one. And now we tell this to extract. Extract, do not insert. Do not insert. You do insert. And hopefully, yeah, there's a weird amount in there, so that should be fine. I'm trying to remember. Do the fluid conduits respect gravity? Yeah. That's annoying. That's annoying. Whatever. Shut up. Just right now, now I don't have a water bucket with me, which is asking to die. Well, uh, we'll just leave this for now. What I'll have to do eventually is I'll probably have to move the tank so that it's like down there. We'll move these so they're up one. But let's continue. What else did we get here? Oh, we, okay, so this bench branch gives us some suggestions on how to make certain automations as they pertain to energy. So this branch is all about, okay, so that must have broke. I wonder if this one will break soon. I don't know if it's like, uh... why do you think it's black? Black particle. Uh, but I don't know if this is like a random chance this thing breaks or if it's like a scaling chance or, you know, whatever that secret math function works out to. But this is a path on how to make a tree beacon farm to get unlimited logs kind of automatically. So in any starter power operation, you want logs and lots of them. Make sure they are close. It needs access to the sky. Your trees do not grow over top of the beacon. I really have no idea what this thing does. Oh, we get an item collector and an item filter. That's cool. Collecting the drops. They gave us the item collector. Can we make these yet? Infusion crafting. Obsidian. Pulsating crystal. Uh, we don't have a good way of making diamond yet. Oh, but we're close. Starlight infuser. wonder how we get this. Talmium, electrum. Yeah, I feel like the starlight crafting altar is probably our next priority. Uh, I have too much stuff on me right now. So we'll quick delete that. Organize that. That should get us one item, right? All right, so let's go clean up. Made some good progress here, I guess. Mixed in with the other potions. I found two crimson praetor spawners under my house. Um, actually, no, one crimson praetor spawner, like over here, and then a creeper spawner. And I wish I'd found them in the other order because I broke the spawner because in the like thing here for apotheosis monster spawners it says 
bonnets will be dropped by Silk Touch. And I took out my squeaky Silk Touch pickaxe, and that wasn't enough. It did not like the squeaky on it. So I don't know if it was a coincidence or if it's just unlucky, but it was not about that. So we'll void upgrade in here. I guess we'll put these in here for now. Where do I keep these? I should have more of these. Okay. I don't need these over here, actually. Put these away for now. I want to move all this marble over to that other chest over by the astral thing. This straw, I think, does it say what it does? It should. Drink worlds and salutes or tanks cause different effects. Um, so I think if you drink starlight, it gives you night vision. So that's probably a way you can just drink your starlight directly. What do I do with that? What do I do with these? Oh god, there's bad food. Oh, I can make fruit bait out of them. A mineral in the wood chest. Oh, I left that great wood sapling outside. Well, let's finish what we came here for. We'll put the wood conduit there. I don't... Where did I get five iron from? Is that a quest reward? Put away some of my extra stuff. And now we're good. There. I like that thing. I like that it's kind of menacing up there. Seriously, where keep my mental pictures? Great oak. Put that into the magic flower pot. Oh, it's Tom Craft. Okay. Bring it over to the Tom Craft area later. This guy's still going. Oh no. Oh, he's full. Why are you full? You're not pressurized. I wonder if I just move this down one. Pickaxe I have. I have a squeaky pickaxe and the fortune pickaxe. I'm trying to level up the fortune pickaxe. Um, Alright, there we go. There we go. Now it's all draining in. Because of that dumb gravity thing. So it's nice to know that this will work. And this I think carries 20k. I think if I make it a, a bronze barrel it'll hold 32. Oh I can make steel now right? Yeah okay we're gonna make a bronze barrel again. I do need to figure out my steel production a little bit better because Right now, my steel production is inside the Tomcraft hut, which is this chunk over here, and it makes a lot of purple goo. What's that called? The corruption stuff. And I don't want to corrupt that chunk. I wonder, do I need these for anything else? That's for that. Well, why not? We can get for now. Okay. So next one is going to be the Starlight Crafting Altar, right? Wonder. I take my scent. Oh, okay. I can hold the Shift button. I don't know what good that does me. But whatever, okay. Progress, we'll call it progress. So we make the starlight. Oh, can I make that foci thing? The resonating? No. Where is it? Alright, let's just go back to Astral Sorcery. Constellation papers. Yeah, okay, Altar of Light.
By utilizing the new type of steel infused with Essentia, you found a way to create a better focusing altar for starlight. So we have all that. Too cold to handle. Does that mean that, like, will I take damage? Where did I put that bucket? Oh. I wonder if that bucket got destroyed. I wonder if I had that five iron in my inventory earlier. I wonder if my bucket was lost and turned into iron, maybe. Hmm. Now I need a new stupid bucket. I hate that. All right, so we'll go make a new bucket, I suppose. I think I have a bunch of plates here. Yep. Uh, I don't think I can make a bucket. <clears throat> it has to be done with a stupid table. I think we have a hammer. I missed my bucket. I'll put the grapefruits over here. The seal. A weird sound. Like, you guys are hearing that, right? Alright, so what do I need? I need. Talmium, right? I need three ingots, or three plates. And that means I'm gonna need you. What? Seriously? Hole up. Empty shape plate. I should get these. I'm willing to bet that I can use this to make lots of alloys, right? Oh, wait, no, it's still two to one. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be two to two. Alright. Because the forge hammer does three to two conversion. Ideally, I want to get to one to one so that I stop wasting as much, which I think would be in the LV. Let's see how much deal I have. I don't have any there. Do I have my thermometer? I just want to see how much bad stuff is here. 34. I think once you hit 20% uh, of the purple in the top left there, bad things happen. So if I'm at max viz, this chunk can have 74. Uh, but remember that if I use any of the viz, that number goes down. Uh, so not loving that. I can always move the infernal furnace though. But for now, let's go. I need. Let's see if I have steel. Might be moot. I might have. Yeah, I have a bunch of steel. Okay. So I need six of these, I think, because that'll make four plates. I need to convert these into Taumium, right? I can do what? Ah, there it is. Wrong NPT. I need right, Contasio and Terra. Terra I can get from dirt. Great Contasio. Let's see. Is there anything that just gives five? Um, people use fizz shrooms a lot for these. Oh, I hear Daisy there. Nope. Dragon Edge. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> 
using your dragon egg for that. Um, oh, the rune marble. If it was not expensive to make, that would be nice. Let's see if there's anything over here that really speaks to me. The quest giver. These are cosmetics. And a glass. Chances are I don't have a ton that would work here. Just because it's barrier stone. Where's that's fine, that's worth it. Um I have to click my back button. One of the things I need to do is really get my Ah, here we go, this room. Ugh. Hoping for something a little nicer than that. Another block. Adaptable. Nope. Skull fire soup. Alright, I'm just gonna look this up real quick, see what the internet says for suggestions. Alright, so Salus Mundus appears to be the prime candidate here. Um, let's see if there's anything else that's suggested. The arcane pedestal. Another one. That's not too bad, right? Oh, arcane stone, though. I need knocker to make that, which I have not automated or even really figured out yet. Craft it up, but I need to still get knocker. Just gold into mana. That seems tedious for now, so we will use Salus Mundus, which also not great, but we have enough. We need that, and Terra, I think I could just get from Dirt, right? Yeah. Alright, and I have moved our uh, Crucible ready, right? Yeah, just go to to our emerald deposit. To take out that. I'm absolutely paranoid that I will. Shoot, where does this go? The monster farm? I think this is the monster farm. I got tired of flying fired up every time I wanted to go. We will use that, and we're just going to run in and throw it in as fast as we can. Right, here it is. Boom. 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 Alright, and we've got that 30 stuff there that we're just going to ignore. That will eventually bubble off to make bad stuff. But I think if I'm not there, it won't happen, so it'll just sit there for now. If I could make the quartz slivers, I could suck up the excess. But again, I don't have a good way of cleaning the stuff from the... I really cannot remember what it's called. It's not... Like, this is the energy, it's the other one. I know my, like, Tomcraft book knows... Starlight crafting. With that chisel marble, marble pillar, crystal. It says the starlight's cold, which is code for get bits. And let's just make sure we have it all. So I need two chisel marble. On side. Maybe I'll just bring as much of my marble over as I can. That one, that one. Why 
Why not? Let's go. All right. Bye, ma'am. That fire means it's raining. That is my rain begun thing. All right, so I need two of those, two of these, those three, the rock crystal, and okay, let's just check. Now I need the starlight bucket. Yeah, and I don't know why that's not working. All right, and now we click that. Why are you so angry? That to extract. Is this thing full? Yeah, that's why. That's why. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's pick it up, right? We can put it inside our reservoir. Vision expands. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting it to... I thought it was going to make an item, not upgrade the altar. wonder if I can pick this up. Yep, okay, that's good. Um, this, I think, does need a thing under it. Like an actual astral altar. Doesn't it? Am I wrong about that? If I put it down and look at it with the whole oh, cool, cool. All right. And then if I break this, will it? Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Um. Let's see. How big was that? That will fit there, so I just have to raise it up one, I think. The Astral Tome should have more information on what I need for this. I think it's inside. Assuming we need a lot of marble and sooty marble. They gave us 10 city, sooty marble, which is kind of a hint, I think. I have my Astral Tome. Atomonomicon. I just chisel it? Is that how I use it? Seriously, you won't let me chisel materials in you? Yep, okay. Alright, that kind of day, I guess. That kind of day. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, I don't see it popping up. I have one of these somewhere. I can put it in here. Oh. Oh. I bet I know where it is. Probably in my chest with all my other astral stuff. Yep, there it is. There it is. Whew. All right. Uh, which of these do you think? I don't know why there's so many constellations now. Discovery? No. Exploration? Yeah, I want a Fosic Resonator. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Let's see. Hey. No way. Oh, that's so many. Do I really need that many? Let's find out. Alright. So, this bad boy is going to have to move. We will tear up this. I regret making this shovel squeaky. Oh, that's cute. Is 
just because when I mine up stuff, like my grass, it turns into stuff I do not care about. Alright, let's change my... faster. All right, check. No, I'm at 13. Uh oh, okay. There we go. There we go. That checks out. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's next? Boy, my wife is stuck behind a train on her way back. 21 sooty marble, really? Oh, is this three by three? Eight. Now this is two by two, right? Why does it think I need so many? I can't do math. Eight, sixteen. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Well, let's put down what we have so far. We've got a bunch of city marble. All right. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're gooch. What's that sound? Oh, that was the sound of the night door breaking. That's what I do when my cat does something suspicious, and I'm like, what's up, kitty? What are you doing? Okay, and then we've got an outside edge of that. That's that one. That one's a different one. This is kind of, like, annoying. Alright, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And... What goes on the bottom there? Chiseled marble. It must be that. Alright, we'll make a stack of... Chiseled marble. Needs to be astral. It's fine. Bam. Yep, yeah, that looks right. Oh, I don't have enough of these. All right, let's take another. One of these and chisel that into. Let's see, that's what I was expecting to do to get the pillars. I need to get the plain marble, I guess. Look, I need these, right? I don't know why the sexton doesn't show them. And, uh, what? Uh oh, okay, why don't you like that? Why don't you like that? What does that need to be? Marble arch? I have it that, I do not. Alright, whatever. Marble arch. Perfect. All right, and then let's see. So this is no longer red, which is good. I think this is larger than the, like, this bar is longer, so it can hold more starlight. So now we'll see if we get saturated amounts of starlight or not. Um, with that, we are, oh, we can do this thing. I do want this thing. I don't know how to use it. Use the sextant to see how to build it. If you haven't read far enough in the journal, great method for early game diamond processing. Yeah, I definitely want this. So, talmium screws. Okay, so I need more talmium, which requires more salus mundus.
Oh my god. I'm doing a celestial research. Excuse me. Celestial research notes on constellations are now craftable with access to the Starlight Altar, which I have. You could create a few of the basic variants that interest you for future research and attunement. Note these no longer appear in temples. So we have this one. So we can get Visio, Boots, Elotrio, Hornets. They all look the same except for this corner. Ocean of Swiftness. So good news, actually. We do have a brewing stand because we found one, but we don't have blades. Um, so I don't know how to power it. We also get a basic brewery. Rabbit foot. Oh, we got that. How do we get aquamarine? This is where my current challenge is. So we can infuse starlight with the autoclave. So we do want the autoclave. This is probably our like, next full life. Alright, so you can just turn sapphire to it. I think we have a sapphire deposit somewhere. Nocturnal powder. That one you usually make on the altar, right? Yeah. And anything that we could make on the luminous crafting table, we can make on the starlight crafting altar. So. Um, I've learned that we can get a ton of ink by just flying around the ocean on Bobbert and shooting squids. And last but not least, lava reagent. So blood magic. Uh, that's not too bad to get. Make this thing man of steel, demon metal. Demon metal, I didn't know we had this. Uh, this is you make by just like tossing uh, gold ingots into lava in like a little altar thing. At least normally that's how you make it. I was curious if there was a... Oh, you can make netherite. Um, wow, you can... It's it's a powerful uh, tool, too. Like a weapon. With a lot of attack on it. I was wondering if we could make the... Uh, there's like a demon seal drum you could make, but... That would be OP. So telescope... So we've got some cool stuff here. I think we'll we'll probably call it here. We're you know forty eight episode episodes minutes in. We have our altar. Um, our altar is not illuminated, so monsters will spawn on it. Let's not have that. We'll just put these on top of here. That would do it. Yep. All right. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.